Well, the events on Capitol Hill condemned by many on both sides of the aisle. But where do we go from here? In a new FoxNews.com op-ed, Pastor Robert Jeffers explains how Americans can help div heal a divided nation. He joins us now. Pastor, thank you so much for being here this morning. So y y the op-ed talks about the ability to put, to put aside political bitterness without surrendering deeply held convictions. How do you do that? Well, first of all, we've got to acknowledge that this bitterness, this anger we're seeing is not only destroying our nation, it's destroying our own souls. And we've got to learn how to deal with that in a positive way. Pete, we've got to acknowledge that what happened Wednesday at the Capitol was not only a crime, it was a sin against God. The people who stormed that Capitol, the people who killed that police officer were not a part of the kingdom of God, as some people claimed they were a part of the kingdom of Satan. But at the same time, we're denouncing violence, we also have to acknowledge the right of people to peacefully express ideas that we disagree with. This cancel culture we're in right now is not helpful. If we're going to heal America, we've got to respect the right of other Americans to be wrong. But Pastor, speak to, speak to people who acknowledge what you said about Capitol Hill, but never felt like there was any sort of a acknowledgement of what happened over the last nine months, whether it was Black Lives Matter or Antifa and the riots and the attacking of police and things like that. So how long do you live inside a double standard and not get frustrated? Pete, there's no doubt that is hypocritical uh, to, to denounce one and not denounce the other. And it goes both ways. I mean, uh, we, uh, those of us, and I was one of them, who uh, forcefully denounced Antifa and BLM and what they did here even in Dallas and our own church. I denounced that. I had to also denounce then what happened Wednesday at the Capitol. What, what's, what are you, when you preach today, what are you going to be saying to your uh, congregation? Well, today I'm preaching about God's amazing grace, but next Sunday, Pete, the Sunday before the inauguration, I'm going to bring a special message on how Christians should respond to President Biden. I think it's time to acknowledge, yes, he's going to be president. We ought to pray for him, but at the same time, we need to push back against those policies he's going to enact that are antithetical to the teaching of God's word. Pastor Robert Jeffers, thank you so much. And folks you can check out your op-ed at foxnews.com as well. Have a great Sunday, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. You got it.